Recent headlines suggest the recycling bubble has burst, claiming that recyclable material either gets sent to landfill or even shipped to China. So I've come to this recycling plant in Essex to get some answers. I've brought my recycling in here because I'm going to get some advice from Liz Goodwin, who's the chief executive at RAP. A lot of people have lost faith in recycling. The industry's taken a bit of a battering recently. How do you react to that? Well, recycling is absolutely still worth doing. Um, the amount of recycling we all do every year is, saves um, 18 million tonnes of carbon dioxide every year. That's the same as taking 5 million cars off the road. 95% of what we put out for recycling gets recycled. Now, what about the fact that people think a lot of recycling is sent to China? A lot of our paper and plastic goes to China. Even exporting it all the way to China, it still makes sense from an environmental point of view. Chris Dow, Chief Executive of Closed Loop Recycling. We're here at the facility absolutely surrounded by plastic bottles. I have one more for you. What are we going to do with this? Tell you what, let me take you and show you. For a start, we're going to run it through a process to make sure that it's free of anything else that's attached. We're then going to shred it up into small bits, give it a wash to make sure that it's free of any other contamination, then turn it into a plastic that can be made back into a bottle or any other plastic packaging. This is what my plastic bottle's been turned into. Now, I've heard some really convincing arguments about recycling, but is it the answer to the UK's growing waste problem? Well, is it indeed? Uh, Kirsty joins us. Now, the other thing people are a bit confused about, they had read reports saying that the market for recycled goods has, has gone away. Mm. There's no point in recycling. It was just being thrown into landfill. Anyway, has that now changed? That is changing. There was a dip in the market, as there was, obviously, we heard with a lot of markets, but now it is changing, and it still makes more sense economically to send stuff for recycling than to pay to put it into landfill. So you'll make money out of recycling, but it will cost you to put it into landfill. Okay. So it's better so for you and for the planet. Big question is, what do you recycle? <coughs> One of our viewers, Tetra Packs, can they, they be recycled? Yeah, we've got examples of some Tetra Packs here. So that's a mixture of foil, paperboard and also plastic. So it's very difficult because it's three different things in one. Yes. yes, they can be recycled. The problem at the moment, though, is still only one in six councils will pick it up from the curbside. Some people, in, depending on your local area, you might have to go to a recycling See, bank. that's my big concern mm. about this. It, it, the, the rules vary depending on where you yes. live. I'm not surprising people are confused. Is exactly. It? it is confusing. We've tried to make it a little bit simpler by putting a lot of information out on our website. So, for example, you can put in your postcode if you go to our website and that should help you find out what you can do in your local area. Some councils better than others. For example, where I went to in Scotland, Lanarkshire, they're really good. They've got a new big um, MRF facility, it's called Materials Recovery Facility, that you can recycle a lot of different things. And that's when people are confused now because you can chuck everything in together and take it away. Why did I have to separate it? How come you can take it all together now? And that's because the technology's got better to separate it out. Well, they do some amazing things. This handbag's fantastic. Explain this that. This is fantastic. I got this from Global Luggage. It's a mixture, basically, of different candy wrappers, sweet wrappers, that someone has spent a lot of time putting it all together into an amazing bag like that. Apparently something similar was used in Sex in the City, so quite trendy now, recycling. Sure, very, very attractive indeed. So, messages, recycling, still worth it. Absolutely, and you can see the packaging that I bought with me. These are the plastic flakes that my bottle turned into. Yeah. And that's been actually used by a lot of companies, supermarkets like Marks and Spencer's now. Actually, their packaging is now being made out of recycled plastic. But, so it's but, amazing what you can do. Don't throw things out as a message. Reuse them or recycle them. Okay, Stop Christy. out of sight, out of mind. You've got to think about it now. Good stuff, thanks very much, Steve.